Hey guys, so today I'm going to do my March book haul and if you're here because of the thumbnail I'm just gonna let you know that that was probably like a third of the books that I have to haul. I just could not physically hold them all up. So yeah, I have about four piles of books on my bed so I don't want this to be a super long video because I think my book haul last year in March was also ridiculously large so I'm just gonna get right into it. Usually I try to show these books in the order that I bought them, but I was all over the place this month, so I'm just going to kind of show them to you as I have them. And the first one is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, the graphic novel, um, written by Ransom Riggs, but art by Cassandra Jean. So I read Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children November of 2012. So I wanted to read Hollow City, but I didn't want to reread Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. So I figured I would just pick up the graphic novel because I've heard fantastic things about it. So then of course I had to pre-order Hollow City by Ransom Riggs. So yeah, I can't wait to read this. The pictures look even creepier and so many people have already read it so I just want to read it. And I think there's actually going to be a third book. I thought this was only going to be like a duology kind of thing but I'm so excited for the third book even though I haven't read this one. Then I also pre-ordered Crest by Marissa Meyer. I read Cinder. I thought it was decent. I think I gave it 3 out of 5 stars. I haven't read Scarlet yet because I wanted this one, even though I know there's going to be a fourth one called Winter. Um, I think this one's about Rapunzel and I think she's a computer hacker. But again, I don't know too much about this one because I haven't read Scarlet, but I've heard the series kind of gets better as it goes along. So I'm going to have to read Scarlet and then Cress. This one was just a random kind of pick for me, but I picked up First Love by James Patterson. Um, oh, and Emily Raymond. I don't know why, I just kind of saw it and I thought it was cute so I picked it up. I think it's supposed to be like a road trip, so the back is kind of cute too. Then I picked up Unhinged by A.G. Howard. Um, I bought Splinter a long time ago, like when it first came out, and these covers are beautiful so I had to pick it up even though I haven't read Splinter yet. I know, I'll be saying that a lot probably. <laughs> with every sequel I have, so. Yeah. I think this is like, she's the great, 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 extended great granddaughter of Alice in Wonderland. I think that's what the story is, but I'm not sure. I'm almost afraid to say this is the only book in this haul that I've read, but I picked up The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. This is the Puffin Classic Edition, and I just think they're so cute. I have the Brothers Grimm collection in this format. So yeah, I have read The Wizard of Oz. Finally, it took a long time, but I read that a couple months ago, I think in October or November for the first time, and I haven't seen the movie yet, but it was really cute, so I wanted to own it. Then I picked up A Midsummer's Nightmare by Cody Keplinger. I read The Duff, and I loved it. Um, I own Shut Out, haven't read it yet, but yeah, I'm not sure exactly what this one is about. Yeah, I really love Cody Keplinger's books, so. Then one that I picked up out. Um, the discount bookstore near my house, and I don't know why I put it in this haul and in my other haul, but that is um, Burley Cross Post Box Theft by Nicola Barker, and this was only $2. It's an adult mystery kind of book, and that's really all I know about it. It was $2 for hardcover, and it sounded decent, so. Then a book that I got to review is The Freeing of Jonathan Mark by Nathan Gross. Um, this is another adult, I think it's a thriller book and it sounds really interesting so I'll leave the Goodreads link to it down in the description because I will not do it justice trying to describe it. So yeah, I just think this cover is so cool. So yeah, I can't wait to read it and this will be read very very soon. Then I did some Amazon shopping because Amazon was having some deals. So I picked up Bitter End by Jennifer Brown. Um, I read Hateless by this author and I adored it. So I just want to see what other books she's written, and, sorry, and I'm not sure exactly what this is about, but I don't know if I've mentioned this, when I say I don't know what a book is about, it's because I like to go into books blind and not knowing what to expect, so, yeah. Then I picked up The Probability of Miracles by Wendy Wonder, I think, mmm, I totally just blanked on her channel name. Books Obsessed, Obsessed Books of... I think her real name's Emily. I will link her channel down in the description. She was raving about this book and I saw it for like $8 on Amazon. 
So, plus it's a pretty color. I love pink, so now I own it. And then the last book I picked up from Amazon was Pure by Juliana Baggett. Um, Geraldine read these books, Pure and Fuse, and I don't know if the haul will be posted by them, but I did buy Fuse, um, so look out for that if it's not already up. I'm filming videos all over the place, but I think I'm, I totally forgot what this is about. But yeah, I think it's adult, so I'm very excited to get into this. Then I went to Chapters and I did some damage there. Um, the first book that I picked up is the first bind up in the Buffy the Vampire Slayer books. Um, so these are by, I think, John Vornholt, Arthur Byron Cover, and Alice Henderson. Um, so these are based on the TV show, and I haven't watched the TV show. So I think it's on Netflix, so I'd like to start reading the books and then watch the TV show. These next two, I have no idea what they're about, but the first one is So Shelly by Ty Roth. I really only bought it because it was $5 and the cover looked cool. And then I also picked up Texas Gothic by Rosemary Clement Moore. So these will probably sit on my shelf forever. And then I picked up Dearly Departed by Leah Hable. Um, I just got intrigued by the cover. I thought it was so pretty. It was cheap and on the bottom like the tagline says love can never die. So then I picked up Fateful by Claudia Gray. I think this is almost like a Titanic retelling but I might be mistaken and again another pretty cover. I picked up Wander Love by Kirsten Hubbard. Um, I've seen a few people talk about this. The Spine is what originally caught my attention and I think it's about someone that kind of travels or goes on an exter excursion so she meets the guy I'm, I need more contemporaries in my life so I've been picking up a lot this one I have no idea what it's about um, it's Before I Go by Riley Weston and the main reason I picked this up is because I was very intrigued because it's like wrapped in plastic so it's like in perfect condition and it was five dollars so I was kind of intrigued what made it so special that it's wrapped in plastic that's a terrible reason to buy a book. Do not buy a book just because it's wrapped all nice. Then I picked up Winter's Tale by Mark Halperin. Um, I got this kind of cheap 40% off of $20 from Target, so it was about $12, $13 with tax. And I picked this up because I think the movie just came out, except this is a monster book, so I do not think I'll be reading this before the movie. Um, so I'll probably just wait and rent the movie when it comes out. But yeah, another adult book. I'm getting better. I picked up Have a Little Faith by Mitch Album because, oh, another chapters book, I missed one, um, because I'm kind of collecting Mitch Album's books because I love them and I love him. He's a beautiful author. He can tell such amazing stories. The Timekeeper is one of my favorite books of all time. And if you guys have not read any of his books, I totally recommend you do and maybe start with The Timekeeper because that one's still my favorite. We're getting down to the end. There's only like six left. I picked up Quiet, The Power of Introverts in a World That Can't Stop Talking by Susan Cain. This was recommended to me by one of you guys because, as I mentioned, I'm a very introverted person. I much prefer staying at home than going anywhere and talking to people and socializing, and which shocks some people, but because I do this, but at the same time it's like I'm just looking at myself, kind of, so long story. <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah, I don't really know much about this except I think she's an introvert and she's kind of talking about maybe experiences with that. Um, so, it says the book that started the quiet revolution. I'm very intrigued and since it was recommended to me, I had to pick it up. I picked up The Selection Stories, which is a um, collection of The Prince and the Guard by Kira Cass. I have not read either of these novellas, but I have read The Selection and the Elite. So I will probably read these before the one comes out, which is the third book, just to kind of refresh myself on what happened. I think one is told through Prince Maxon's perspective and the other one is told through Aspen's perspective. I hate Aspen, so hopefully reading this will kind of change my mind. Then I just forgot what order these go in. I think this is right. I picked up The Da Vinci Code and The Lost Symbol by Dan Brown. In a recent haul, maybe it was my last month's haul, I picked up Angels and Demons by this author, so I'm kind of collecting this series. Does it end at four books? Is Inferno the last one or is there going to be more? Because then I probably won't start it yet. But I have not seen the movies, so if I read the books and I like them, I'll probably watch the movies, even though I've heard the movies are not that good in comparison. I picked up Jet by Jay Cronover. Um, I picked up Rule and I plan on picking it up sometime this month. And 
I just like to read books back to back. I don't think the third one's out yet. If it is, then I'm going to get it. But this is the second book in the Marked Men series. Sorry about my phone. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited because I think it's new adult and I've heard fantastic things about Rule through my friends. So, And then the last two books I picked up are probably the ones I'm most excited for. Um, I got these also at the discount bookstore. I picked up The Kite Runner and A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khalid Hussini. I own And the Mountains Echoed, but I found these for $7.99 and $6.99. Originally $20 both in paperback, so I saved like half price at least. And I've been told to read these in publication order, so The Kite Runner first, and then A Thousand Splendid Sons, and then, and then The Mountains Echoed. It's a lot of thens and ands. But yeah, so when I saw them, I kind of freaked out in the middle of the store and I was like, you're mine, you're coming home with me. So yeah, these will be read very soon because I've heard fantastic things, especially from my friend Geraldine over at Star 72 link down in the description. Um, she loves these books and this author, so. I've heard you kind of cry, I've heard they're kind of very sad. So I know nothing about the story of them, so I can't wait to experience it for everything that it is. So those were all of my many books that I bought this last month, and it's probably going to get worse because Book Outlet is having a sale this month, so I will be driving up to St. Catharines because it's only like a half hour away from where I live, and I'm going to go a little bit crazy, so look forward to that. If it's way too many books, then I'll probably do it in a separate haul, and I'd like to vlog it because I think it'd be kind of fun and show you guys what the Book Outlet store is kind of like. So if you're interested in seeing that, it'll let me know. And yeah, I hope you guys had a great month and an even better month this month. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.